Hey guys, so I'm uh, trash picking. I just had one of the best trash picking scores I've had ever. I was, I saw like a Christmas box, so I pulled over. Um, I got this train right here. It's huge, look at the size of my hand. And um, I got this box right here. Um, I got the box underneath. I got a bag of trains in the back that I don't know if you guys can see, but we'll go through once I get home. Um, I don't know, it turned, uh, turned trash picking into a lot of fun, I'll tell you that. Uh, I got I got this guy right here. Um, he is uh, from He-Man. Of the universe. Let's see. I think this was the one of these roads. I'm looking right now for where I went to the yard sales because they had like a little neighborhood sale, and uh, he's actually in good condition. His fur's all there. But normally, when you have a yard sale, you throw out everything the next next day of the sale. That's a little piece of. But, um, no, it doesn't look like they have anything good. I don't really want to go through their cans right now. They don't have anything. I mean, if, if somebody's, uh, what I did, like, uh, I have to go back because I thought I had it all on tape. I got too excited when I found the trains. Um, I, like, literally they had a bunch of boxes next to their can. And that's when it's worth stopping just because it looks like they're doing a clean out or, you know, purging. What else did I get? I got, uh, I think that's Dick Tracy. And uh, a bunch of neat little pictures, like this, this fun country uh, shutter. I'll sell at the market. Uh, satellite dish for the Millennium Falcon, but the, the new one. Um, but still, somebody might need it. Uh, this transformer is beautiful for the trains. Uh, let's see, I'm driving like crazy, man. But this was like, uh, I don't want to, I'll screw with it once we get to the thing. I mean, I'm not, I'm not honestly driving in a just was I don't want to pull over to uh, get out to show it to you so I don't want to screw up the box but I'll, I'll show you guys once once we're once I'm done and I'll try to find one more thing to pick man but honestly most epic find in the trash in a long time and it's got weight it's like 10 15 pounds uh, it's a rainy day so uh, just I just feel like I feel like I lucked out on this one um, I got Star Wars Lego book for the kid um, of course the minifigures not there but something for him to read um, what else did I get Nah, probably 40 pounds of scrap I'm gonna go do that neighborhood across the way just because it's an older one too um, I guess these all have been uh, kind of gentrified to where they don't have as many little kids anymore. It's all older people just because uh, property value kept on going up. There was some scrap. We'll get that on the way back. I uh, I think me and Naz are going to go do a clean out tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. If anybody watched the drinking episodes, I do kind of look at that as like slow TV we put it out there so that way you could do something in the background or you know you have something on in the background you don't really have to look up um, but uh, it's definitely fun we we go to the bar at least once or twice uh, see he, th this right here 600 bucks and I'm missing it um, could use that 
they've got junk, man, should go over and ask if they have anything that they want to sell. Um, Because that's just like a dumpster delivery. Alright, I saw one piece of scrap down here. That wasn't it. I'll be here. Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, two pieces of scrap. See how, like, they have the bags outside? They're probably throwing. This must be a weed pooler. We'll try selling that at the market. Alright, so I got this. I grabbed this garbage bag. I mean, it was all clean household stuff. That is not clean household stuff. Uh, this is good for the flea market, believe it or not. People always want uh, little tents. This guy up there. Alright, we'll get back and I'll go show you the the line L. Everybody, thanks for uh, watching, but I don't know, just lucky trash picking today. Don't always get that lucky. Alright, peace. Alright, we have to check these. There's boxes of fans. Gotta go check real fast. Wouldn't that be neat if they were... No, it's all empty. Oh well. Nothing. That would have been cool though. They look like they were new in box. I found the... Yeah, you don't always win. But people threw, threw out dumber stuff today than that. Um, going back just because... Right here is where uh, I found the trains, making sure they didn't put out anything else. See that box? That's what made me stop. Oh, we're going to stop one more time and go look, just because you never know. I definitely, definitely feel pretty lucky. Maybe they threw out something else. Bum, bum, bum. Alright, we're just gonna go look real fast. Uh -huh. Maybe there's something in here. Yeah, that's the other part of the Millennium Falcon. Santa Claus might sell. Tuck this back in here. Tuck that in there. It's all garbage. All right. Uh, there's nothing else. But oh, wait, there's something at the bottom of that. Scented candle. Yeah, book for the kids. When it got wet. My kids would like that one. Scented candles sell sometimes. Elf on the shelf. What do you think? Is he in there? Nope. But these guys will sell. They always do. Any home decoration always sells. That's why I grabbed the whole box of it. Alright. I'm going home and we'll uh, we'll be back. But that's where... See that box? That's, why I, that's where the trains were. I had to go back and just double check. 
All right, peace. All right, so we're gonna unload these uh, garbage treasures and see how uh, we got. That's about five. Found these things. Uh, they're pretty good. I know the box is wet, but again, it's raining. Got the church in Plasticville, but I got the box too, so like that will dry out. It's, it's pretty neat. There's uh, the instruction booklets and there's little records to play. Uh, that's, that's super cool. Um, Alright, the thing I wanted to see was what Lionels are in this bag. I can't believe it was in the trash. So first box is empty. Second box is empty, but all right, here, here we go. There's a, there's one coal car. Um, another car. Uh, he's got a little bit of rust, but not terrible. I can oil that out. Here's one. Here's somebody still in the box. That's a caboose. Cabooses are good. Another guy in the box. He must carry, it's like a cable, or it's a, must carry these cables. Let's see, is there any more? Here's a big switch. Sorry. Two switches. There's a box maybe for the switches. Yeah. But, alright, so, up a barrel. Barrels aren't ever bad to have. There's one, two more boxes of trains though. From uh, from this, I got this guy in the. Oops, stuff down while I picked up there. See, look, it said train set too. I was like, oh. I, the camera turned off. I was too excited, and I didn't check when I was picking it up out of the trash. So in the train set box, there's more Plasticville. It's still in there. Another plastic fill set. All right, so. All right, so that's for the Santa Fe. Look at that Indian head on there. Pretty cool. I have the. I have the engine right here. So I got the engine and the second car. That is awesome. More switches. Some nice clean track. A little plastic filled church. Um, a, lot, a lot of little parts and pieces. Here's gas pump. Two gas pumps, some roofing. I think I have some more, too. Oh yeah, this I was excited about these. So this this one, and I got these two. Same place. Boxes are just a hair wet, but. They'll dry right out, and uh, I'll put them with the stuff from the yard sale that Naz did. And it'll dry right out in that garage. So yeah, there. This barrel goes with that. And so does that. But the graphics on this box are super cool. I don't. 
think this guy's in here, but still the box for the switch tower. But look at this one. It's a barnyard for Plasticville. And this is dry. Everything's there. We got some old vintage -y cars. Old horse. Plasticville. This isn't Plasticville, but it's definitely 1950s, 1960s farm animal. The delivery milk truck. Snap, but he's still cool. That must have been how, how that went. I don't know. Hey, eh, some Legos too. Put the, put the Lego pile. Whoever has the trains isn't going to care about the Legos. But still, that right there is by far the coolest thing I found in the trash in a long time. I mean, I guess before I started doing this, somebody threw out a jewelry box and I got a bunch of gold, but nothing that was, uh, not that it was a ton of money. I found a bunch of fun Lego parts. Look, in the bottom of this, there's the, the guns, the old muskets. Um, this is a nice little metal sign right here. Watch for children. Wonder what this metal sign says. Uh, it's just the railroad crossing. Torch. I think that's a metal pig. No, it's just a. It's got the Plasticville logo on all those little animals, though. The dog. Yep, I'm happy. Uh, and then I have, oh, I forgot one other thing. I'll, I'll show it, go get it. I got that switch. That's pretty, pretty darn cool switch. It's got the sevens on it. And then from the same house, I, this just looked like all clean, clean stuff. Those always sell for two or three bucks. The cake things. Fun hand carved wooden milk bottle. I'll get three or four dollars for that. Welcome sign. Let's see what this is. It says Pyrex. I wonder if it's a whole Pyrex set. That'd be pretty cool. Yep, with the tops. That's or just the one bowl, but still, that's that's five bucks at the flea market, easy. Um, but it does pay to garbage pick. Yeah, there's just a lot of little woody. Uh, there's like a another carved milk bottle thingy in here. Just look cute in somebody's kitchen. The rest of the stuff's kind of boring. I'm gonna go throw these in the scrap. Maybe the tea lights will sell. Who knows? That's kind of fun. Just, just a nice little wooden block. You can turn it over and use it for some type of plaque or sign, too, if you wanted to. And then I picked up all that scrap. 
but I was on the way to to my dump. I got the Boston hat, and I got uh, let's see one. I think I got more lightsabers too. Got that thing. Oh yeah, right here. Oh, it's still got the battery. Two. Two lightsabers. Maybe I think I got another one actually. Bum bum. Oh, that's the box for the big engine. I got the Philly Fanatic. I got these signs to. Oh, yeah, I got a green one. A green lightsaber. Let's see, yeah, and that battery don't work on that one. But, in all, it's actually becoming to be a lot of stuff. Like, this will be easy $200 worth of stuff at the flea market. I mean, the trains are going to make up most of it. And probably another 30 bucks in scrap. Because I think if we're going to test that lawnmower, because that lawnmower is in... Oh wait, another lightsaber. That one's kind of weird. So three, four lightsabers. Um, I think I threw something in the back here too. I don't know. I don't see anything else. Oh yeah, the this guy and that clean stuffed animals always sell. Got the eagle ball. I got uh, this, but I was gonna give it to my kid just because it talks about lightsaber battles and all that other stuff. Maybe it'll give you moves. I'll probably give him some of the lightsabers. The hole punch. I got. I took one candle that was new, never burnt. That will sell for two, three bucks. Uh, but I guess that's it. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Um, pays to pick some garbage every once in a while. Uh, I hope it was an interesting video. Thanks. Peace. Hey, so I just came to pick up this stove. I saw this on the when I was grabbing everything. And right when I went to go get that, there was these picture frame. Yeah, it's busted. Oh well. Seems almost nice. Let's see if I can put this on without killing myself. Whenever they have those uh, side trays, they're always between the butt to load. should be good. And about a hundred pounds. Not that much. There's a, let's see if that's steel. It probably is. I'll take that too. And don't really have to stop to get it. Yeah, that umbrella. I had to slow down. I wouldn't pull over for that, it's too light. I wasn't going anywhere. I found some garbage in there. We have one other stop. Oh, I thought I saw one good pile. 
could be junk. Um, I can't decide if I want to take apart some TVs. I, I did go get the drill gun. The drill gun uh, does make it easier. But I think I'll just take the TV, throw it on the truck, and put it in... Uh, bring it to the recycling center. They have it out for rubbish, so don't want the garbage men to take it. Definitely not good for the environment. I saw a bunch of stuff down here. We'll go see if there's anything here. Might be, might not. And it just looks like somebody got carpeting done. Doesn't look promising. There might be some scrap. Let's see. Oh man, I keep on knocking you guys over. Is that metal or is it not? No. Fan. Looks like it's all carpet. Some boxes. Maybe we'll get out and play kick the bag. Every once in a while when you kick the bag, you never know. It's not looking promising. All eh. oh, food, trash, garbage. Oh well. Again, you don't win them all. But that that's one you check out just because it's got so much, uh, so much stuff and you don't know what's going to be behind it. Um, ever since they switched to these blue cans, you really can't, you miss a lot of trash just because people, you can fit a lot of stuff in them. So definitely sends more to the, sends more to the dump and less to being recycled and reused. I think, uh, I don't think that's a, a good thing. I mean, it's bad for me, but it's, I guess, easier for the township. Um, I drove by that, or drove down that road once today when I was looking for, looking before. I just didn't have room to throw that grill on. So, I think that's, that's all she wrote for this, unless I pick up that TV. I can't decide. Uh, it's right where those guys are working. there this week. Everybody here gets their grass cut. Um, Memorial Day trash. So, alright. That was... I don't know. Nothing super exciting. But, thanks for watching.